Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air credit. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneaked the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the Knights and are being made to work. I bet Teagle's in there too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hope Loan Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. They wouldn't! You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's gotta be Qmore. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once, at Ker Bakram. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others! Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... Um... You can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. Then we'll have the mages and Ospio come pick them up. Wait! We're being careful, right? But... One thing at a time. R right Okay, then let's get back to our original plan and head down. Okay. I'm impressed that you passed for a real knight, Carol, despite your height. It's amazing, especially considering he wasn't wearing the full suit of armor. That knight must have been so panicked that he didn't see anything besides your helmet. People usually notice things like that, though, right? Then why'd you put me up to this in the first place? Hide! Ah, my lord. Oh. Are you sure you shouldn't be going to the sands of Kogor now, sir? <laughs> I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. Using the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. And I hope you remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. You'll take those weapons I sold you and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Don is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, ya? Yeah? Don't go forgetting that. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do. But Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. The guy with the weird hair looked over here and laughed. 
He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So now we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right, let's go free them from the idiots. All right, if we find anyone being forced to work, let's tell them to run. <laughs> What's with you? First you're panicked, now you're laughing. You're pretty moody yourself, Rita. You're not really one to talk, Carol. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm so glad we found you here. I mean, I gave up going back to the capital, so even if you had visited me, I wouldn't have been there. Oh, how sweet, Rita. You were gonna go visit Estelle. Uh, I wouldn't go to the capital just to visit someone. I mean, I have to report my findings on the air credit. I just thought I'd say hi or something. I don't know. That sounds like an excuse for a visit with Estelle to me. You stay out of this! Oh, come on! We're all together again. Let's just be happy about that.
Goku's here. And a group of those red eyes. Looks like Humor has become their new client. Hey, do you think that guy who talks all funny could be the red eyes boss? It sure looks that way from here. Get to work! No slacking off, you worms! Look, that's... it's Teagle! If it's money you want, you'll have more than you can use. Now work! Work! Wait! <laughs> Who? Yuri Loa! What are you doing here? Uh, princess! You have no right to call yourself a knight. Brute force is not the way to honor the prestige of the Empire. Put down your weapons now. You will also release the people you have tricked into coming down here. This all might be easier if such a naive little princess were to simply disappear. All of your utopian ramblings make me sick. That's not the kind of thing someone with delusions of becoming Commandant of the Knights would say. It's you! You'll be all right now. Jaeger! Get rid of them! Yeah, my lord. Nothing personal, you see? Just business. We can't just let it go. Oh, I feel so powerful! I must admit, you're very strong. Sir Kumor, it's the Flynn Brigade! Flynn! Well, send him away! We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. Gosh, Dwight. Yes, Jaeger. This is our time to shine! I think we better be making the escape, yeah? Ah! What is this? Please, step this way. Move, move! Time to get a move on! We'll get you next time! What an original line. If we don't follow them, they'll... Wait! Our job is to rescue Teagle! But... I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? Everyone freeze! That's enough! 
Hey, just in time. Yuri? Can you get up? I yes. Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will. And thank you. So we are going after them. Yeah, I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? Yeah. Plus, I think Estelle's gonna take off after him any minute. Sorry. Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going! All right. Yuri, wait! Gotta run, Flynn! Lady Estelise, this journey is far too dangerous for... <sighs> I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita! You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. called Jaeger certainly had a unique way of talking. Unique isn't the word I'd use. I had a hard time understanding some of the stuff he said. An ancient way of speaking lost in this day and age. What? Are you serious? It would at least make a good story if that were true. <laughs> There's no sign of them. Looks like they ended up getting away. Where are we anyway? A forest in central Tolbikia. If I'm right, Torum Harbor is east of here. We should probably just get to the harbor rather than going back to Heliord. What? But what about Q Moore? Do we just let him go? I thought the purpose of your journey was to find Pharaoh. Well, I... I wasn't aware Brave Vesperia was formed to follow your random whims. I'm sorry. That was never my intention. Oh, she's just telling you to relax. Besides, Flynn's on the scene, right? You can be sure he'll take care of things. Hey, Pharaoh? Brave Vesperia? Start explaining! Just about to ask the same questions myself. Huh? What the? What's wrong, Miss Genius Mage? Forget me already. It's me, Raven the Great. Who the hell do you? I told you, Raven the Great. Man, you're a scary little kid, you know that? So, what are you up to? With all the stuff you've been doing, Poor Raven got sent all the way out here to keep an eye on you. Why would they do that? First things first. Let's go find an inn at Torum Harbor. I'll tell you everything there. Raven's pretty hungry, you see. I suppose there's no point in hanging around here. Torum Harbor is a good first step. Torum Harbor, then. Would that be all right? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be selfish. Okay, let's go.
We sure have fought a lot of monsters. Yes, I thought by now they might be more scarce, but... <laughs> that sounds like something you'd think, Estelle. If we could wipe out all the monsters ourselves, we wouldn't need anything like barriers anymore. But why are there monsters anyway? So that people can defeat them, of course. I think that's a little extreme. Well, that's the only thing they're good for. I wonder... It seems there would be some good reason why they exist. There's no use thinking too hard about it. Get started on that train of thought and you'll soon be asking yourself why humans exist. Yes, that's a good question too. There you go, making things more complicated, old man. I was trying to get you to stop thinking about these things, not think about them more. 